guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, we'll talk about how you can render this kind of cool scenes inside of Maya by using Arnold Render Engine. And this video is completely based on beginner purpose. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, in this video, we'll talk about three most important steps. The number one is how you can apply a proper Arnold shader in an object. If you can call it as a material as well. The second one is about a light setup by using HDRI map. And the third, the most important, all about camera settings and render settings and all. So guys, right now we're in Maya and this is version 2020. And as you can see, I already have already pre-made a scene in front of you. Now, how I created this scene, let me tell you that this is completely based on Maya simulation effects kind of thing. So this is not covered in this tutorial. The tutorial will be coming very soon. Okay, so first of all, if you notice, there are so many boxes here and I have already applied a different different materials like red, yellow, blue and purple. So let me show you how you can apply a material first with a separate material. So take a polymetric uh, object, something like that. And after that, if you want to add any material in here, just right click and go down to assign a new material. And after that, you have to select from anything like I want to select like Arnold shader. So just click this Arnold shader and over there you can find these many shaders option. I prefer personally, if you are in hurry, if you're in rush, then you should go this AI car uh, like clip geo or AI carpent. This is a very good material pre-made material, which will give you a very good proper output. But if you want to customize your material, then you should check this AI standard surface, which you, which is uh, just amazing. Just click here. So then after that, you can see this is your material uh, like editor and after that you can use this so many things like colors and all if you want to change this color you can change it like red if you want to give this a proper full red then you just increase this weight value after that if you want a specular full you can give the speculars roughness will be a uh, become your glossiness if you don't need any glossiness just decrease this then the main thing is IOR value if your object is like a glass or any kind of thing you should know about IOR values IOR value list link is in description you can go and check that which object have their own like separate separate IOR so you should go and put your IOR value here okay after that when you have everything properly applied on your material then your main scene was done so let's delete this because I don't need this kind of uh, models here just delete it now after that what I did I added a separate material for this floor as well and let me show you how I can apply a simple texture here so if you want to apply any texture on this floor you just click this color button here and the browser will open and you just import your uh, texture in my case I imported texture and then just I repeated my texture in 10 times so to repeat it and it should look like very crisp and sharp okay after that you have to set up your camera so it's very simple in Maya to set up your camera like set your positions and from here go to panel perspective and take this new and it will automatically create your camera for this case I have this already camera called perspective one and now when you're happy with your camera positions now let me tell you about your depth of field so how you can give your depth of field this is a very simplematic way so first of all go to this display option over there you can see this head up displays and over there you can see is called object details you should check this object details on so now what object details do when you turn on this object details you can see this passage will be popped up here where you can see every details of any object when you select that object now for example I'm select this purple box here so you can see this is a back faces on smoothness is there instance no display layer default but distance from camera is 26.263 it means how far it is from right now in uh, like in this scene from this camera so this is the distance from your camera now if you want to focus this object in your camera then what you have whatever you have to do you just go to your camera settings so just go to select your camera from here and after that if you want to give a proper depth of field if you want to focus on this area then you just go down over there you can see this is called Arnold and when you turn on here you can see this many options will be here I already have this enable depth of field and now this focus distance which will be your box distance from camera now in this case this purple box is like 30.164 so what do we have to do click this and after that you just have to put this value here like 30.264 whatever is there so in my case I put this cube which is around let's see which one is there so if you want to select this cube like this is 23.364 if you want to select this cube this is 29.505 so let me tell you that if you, if you put here like 
29.505 so what happened like this cube and uh, rest of the areas like those who those boxes are very close to this box that will be in focus this rest of the parts will be completely in defocus now the main thing the uh, lighting setup the depth of field everything is done so let me tell you how you can set up your light now go to this perspective again and after that i'm adding a simple uh, like hdri light so if you're familiar with arnold then you should know arnold have their own light setup like light ambient light and all these kind of lights but in this case i am using arnold light so what is the arnold option over there you can find this called lights and i am using a skydome light because hdri light in skydome it will work really good just click this HDRI or Skydome light. So what happened, one Skydome light will be automatically create uh, like based on your scene. So this is a big Skydome light. Now this light color is by default white. So let me show you how the renders will look like when you render this. So before that, I just turn off this depth of field because I don't want unwanted render time for this tutorials. And after that, just I'm like decreasing my resolution here. So I'm decreasing the resolution to like 640. And let's render it and show you that how it will look like so this is your IPR render IPR render is like a real-time render so this will look like without any HDRI only white light it will look like this it's almost looks and realistic but if you want to give a more realistic way then you should use uh, your HDRI map so select this uh, AI dome before that you should turn off this IPR and guys make sure if your system is not good enough I preferred do not use this IPR option it can crash your system so always try to render it in manual way now click this AI sky dome light and after that what we have to do you just have to give a proper HDRI map so the HDRI map link is in description box below you can download all the HDRI maps are completely free now if you want to apply just click this color button here and after that you should check this file option and from here you can select your files which will be your HDRI map so in my case I'm selecting this one HDRI so just press open so when you press open this HDR will be coming here and after that nothing you have to do just have to re-render it like IPR or normal render so let's see how it will look like after creating this HDRI so now guys as you can see this is like just amazing with this HDRI map and as you can see this lighting setups and all the shadows and all everything is looking just amazing so I think this is a really good way to apply a simple lighting for you any kind of product rendering or any kind of thing which will be give you a proper output but guys without depth of field no image will be proper image so whatever I have to do I just disable this uh, IPR render from here so that it can crash your system after that what you have to do you just have to go this perspective which means my camera and simple you have to turn on your depth of field so in my case I'm turn on this depth of field now let me show you this aperture size and aperture blur like what it will do now if you increase your aperture size like 1 to 10 the blur will be more increased if you less like 1 to 0.5 the aperture will be low so that the blur will be low as well and after that you have to select your this settings because as I told you beginning of this video that I will show you the render settings so just go through with this settings like if you want to give some denoise here you should check this image format in EXR because as you all know Arnold if you're using Arnold renderer Arnold renderer can only use this denoiser if you are selecting image format in an EXR version or EXR format now after that go down you can select your frame range if you have any animation if you have a single frame range then nothing you need to do and after that you have this renderable camera which will be your like perspective to this this is my camera perspective one so I'm selecting my render cam here and after that your resolution will be let's take a around like full HD 4k 2k it's completely up to you and main thing now Arnold settings which will be like this camera AA it which means like ambient occlusion like the, the maximum number if you give the more good result you will get like the blurs will be more smoother without any noise so I'm using 9 now based on your system you should add your ambient occlusion value no need to change these other option and if you have little bit good system then you should turn on this progressive render it can give a more crystal clear render output after that if you go to the systems if you have a good GPU you should check this GPU it can render faster than your CPU and it's very amazing and like minimum memory should be like 512 it's good enough so let it be and rest of the things you should go to like default for beginner purpose if you are like a pro then you should change you should play with this all settings and that video will be coming but this video is completely based on beginners so that's why I'm not showing all details 
if you go to this AOV, you can see this is called denoiser and I'm selecting this Arnold denoiser for denoising this image sequence and it can take so much time to denoise after render complete. So don't click anywhere after when your render will be done. And after the diagnosis, this is nothing just simple like warnings and all. After when you have everything, you just click your render button and when everything will be done, when render everything will be done, it will be completely look like this. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial that how you can render this kind of cool scenes by using Arnold Renderer and this is completely based on beginner purpose and by using this way, I already created another render which you can see in front of your screen right now. And if you really love my videos, then don't forget to subscribe my channel VFX World. Also, you have to follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. All links are in the description box below. And guys, as I saw that there are so many guys who are following me on my YouTube channel, but they are not subscribed. So guys, please do subscribe also. You can like and dislike as well. It's completely up to you. Okay, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Till then, have fun, stay healthy and keep rocking, keep watching VFX World.